Hey guys, it's Will from LearnRater, and in this edition of AP Micro Mondays, I'm going to be walking you through price floors and what to expect when you see it on the AP Micro exam. So price floors are essentially a form of, pri of price controls in which the government is going to help protect the producer. So the government is protecting the, the producer, and the way that they're doing this is by essentially setting how low a price can go. So let's look at the overall situation that we're faced with here. We have a standard axis and we have our supply curve as well as our demand curve. And what we want to look at is essentially, I'm actually going to straighten that out since it's a little bit crooked. That's much better. So we have our supply curve and our demand curve. And in order for a price floor to be effective, the government has to set the price floor above the equilibrium price. So first let's look at where equilibrium is. That's where supply intersects demand, which is at this point. And then, so what we know is that the price floor needs to be set above, above the equilibrium price. So this is gonna be your price floor. And this is essentially an action taken in order to help protect producers. Because what this is saying is we want to set the price so that it doesn't go below the equilibrium and that we can help out our buddies, the producers in this case. So this might be a situation in which an industry is experiencing rapidly decreasing costs and producers are taking a loss. And so the government steps in and says, hey, we're here to help you out. We're going to help you raise your prices so that you can pocket more overall revenue. So in this case, a scenario might be computers. If computers were originally priced at 500 for example and we as the government think that that's way too low and that producers are no longer making any money from it then we might set a price floor at the price of 750 instead so this is what this overall scenario represents so now similar to our price ceiling solution we want to think about where our supply curve intersects the price floor and where our demand curve intersects the price floor so first let's look at where the demand curve intersects the price floor which happens at this point if you drag that down this is essentially going to be your quantity demanded and then where supply intersects the price floor is the quantity supplied and therefore, as we can see here, the quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded. And so what this shows you is that this is indeed a, a price control that helps producers because what's happening is producers are now able to charge a higher minimum overall price. And as a result of that, they are more than willing to supply a large amount of, in this case, computers. However, consumers don't have that much of a demand for it. So now let's look at the respective portions of consumer surplus, producer surplus, and deadweight loss. So the consumer surplus originally was this overall right triangle. However, now it's shifted to this region because this is how much extra benefit they get at that respective new price. And then, so this is the consumer surplus. And then we know that this is a producer surplus action, protection action, which the producer is going to get more out of it. And therefore, the producer surplus is this entire region here that they seek to benefit from, from the overall price floor. So this case, this is our producer surplus. And then finally, we have a deadweight loss in place in which this represents our deadweight loss because nobody gets this region as a result of this price floor. So what's important to take away from the situation of a price floor is that the quantity supplied is going to be greater than the quantity demanded, and that makes sense because going back to what a price floor does, it helps protect producers, and it's setting a price of how low it can possibly go uh, while still preserving power for the producer. So that pretty much covers it for this video. If you want to reference the other video, we have a video that walks you through price ceilings. You can check it out on our channel for now. That's it. I will see you guys next time.